I'm sitting at this crossroad waiting for a revelation because I now have time to kill before I reach my final destination. I'm having mixed emotions which for me is worse than a boat in rocky oceans filled with love potions that kill you dead in your motions. The thought of you is clouding up my mind and it's a sign I should unwind and be kind to myself. To pack up the bullshit on a high shelf and just admit it. So, with a beer to numb the tears in one hand and an hourglass of sand in another, there was no other but each other. And as I sip and reminisce about the stuff we did and probably should dismiss, I can't help but think. There was a time I saw my future in you. Through and through, true blue, foolproof future in you. Our long walks, crazy talks, fantasy shared, vision impaired. You were my pair, my share, my piece of the pie made of peace of mind. We dreamt of futures through Jupiter, via the sea of Cilier. Ideas of our future couldn't get any stupider because one fight, two fight, three fight there. We broke each other beyond repair. Yet somehow I still saw my future in you. Through and through, true blue, foolproof, future in you. But now I'm standing closer to the crossroad, still waiting for a sign from the divine to confirm you were never really mine. And that I'll be fine. Because after all is said and done, love, there is none. I'm left with no one. But the facts remain the same. There was no one else to blame. And I am right for feeling shame. Because through and through, true blue, foolproof, my future was you. But look, I'm done. Oh, for real this time? I don't know, Jess. It's like I'm stuck in some bad, never ending chick flick. Uh huh, uh huh. And it's getting you old real quick. Well, what can I say? I mean, I was back and forth with my party. Look, joke all you want, <laughs> but at some point, enough is enough, okay? Look, I know you love him, Hav. But you can't oh, let him treat you like this. One day you're here, the next day you're out. One day I'm here in my house, next day. I know, look. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm just can't explain this hold he has on me. <laughs> me neither. Well, whatever. Let's go. I got places to be. This is one of them. Well, we'll pick up a bag. Let's go. Maria's got you like are? five minutes left in her. And Maria, you're taking me. Okay, so you already know the deal. Um, go put your stuff in the living room because I didn't get a chance to clean up the back room. You already know how it is. I'm a busy lady. I gotta work. Anyway, let me tell you about Homeboy. Ooh, I met him two nights ago. He's a bouncer. He does something else in the daytime. I'm not really sure, but he has no kids. He's fine as hell. And let me tell you how he is in bed. Anyway, he's just... Are you listening to me? Get on the floor. These girls are coming off. And you're right here. We're gonna open this bad boy right now. Come on, huh? Yeah, take a sip of that. Damn, Jeff. <laughs> mm. You were so drunk that night. Mm. <laughs> Drunken all I slayed. All right? Mm. And you weren't so bad if I do say so myself. Yep, and the booze from the audience definitely confirmed that. Oh, shit, I thought I told you. That was my salty-ass ex-husband and his crew. And the only reason why they went was because they thought we were going to make fools of ourselves, but <laughs> look, first place, bam. <laughs> Cheers to that. You want to leave me hanging? You know, Edwin was there too. Uh-huh. Edwin also kicked you out that same night. So let's focus on those hard facts instead. And while we're going down that road, let's focus on everything else that fat motherfucker put you through, hmm? Yeah, I guess. 
the cuff. Babe, you gotta want better for yourself. You gotta want more. Okay, until then, this movie is on repeat. It wasn't like that we won that contest, that I started drinking, like that at least one drink a night type drinking. Yeah, I know, but look, focus. Okay, it's, it's not like you get white girl wasted every day, right? I mean, yeah, sure, you've had your moments, but for the most part, you're good. People like you who think as much as you do need something to take the edge off, you know, because a brain of yours keeps like tick, tick, ticking all the time. Look, it's either liquor or pills. I mean, which is the lesser of the two evils? <laughs> who the hell knows? And you know, who the hell cares? I know plenty of white collar types who do lines of coke for breakfast. Okay? <laughs> it just is what it is. Everyone's everyone's got their poison. So. Yeah, well what's your poison? A dick. Facts. <laughs> but listen, just <laughs> if this ever gets out of hand, promise me you'll put my ass in rehab. I got you, boo. Done. <laughs> you'll be on the first thing smoking. I drink up. <laughs> Ooh, that is homeboy. <laughs> I love you, but his dick is poison. Mwah. Gotta go. <clears throat> Look, you already know everything is, all right? Make yourself comfortable. You know, um, drink that bottle and text me if you need anything, okay? Got my phone right here. I got it. Now go get your you just flipped upside down again, girl. Yes! Papa! It's okay to cry As long as you let him go It wasn't your fault You didn't know Pathological my friend so so the other night. Oh my god, he dances salsa too? Oh god, he's pretty good. Yes. But... Uh, but what? Is it weird that he's only a year older than my dad? <laughs> no, because your father was 15 when you were born and your mother was 16 and that, that ain't that big of a stretch. No shade. True. And besides, you know how I feel about age. I mean, it's nothing but a number. Yeah, you know how I feel about good dick. Good dick ain't got no face, so it's all good. Let's <laughs> feel whatever we're gonna feel, right? <laughs> Speaking of which. Mm, good dick. <laughs> no, stupid. Family. How's grandma? She's good. I mean, she's not getting to worse. Her mind's still all over the place, but she's good. Yeah, good. I, when was the last time you went over there? A while. I mean, actually, it's becoming less and less. Okay, listen. Oh no, 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 no. When you say listen, come on! Listen to me! Okay, look, look, I know you struggle emotionally and shit when you go see your family, but as much as it drains you, you gotta go. Okay, they're not gonna be around forever. And especially your grandma. I know, but come on, Jess. I mean, you saw how down I was the last time I went. Yeah, I know, but you know, you gotta be strong for her. All right, when you go over there, keep it light, light. Make her laugh with your crazy, inappropriate ass jokes. You know how she low key loves that shit. <laughs> hey, you can even borrow Maria if that makes it easier for you. <laughs> shit, I'd rather take the train. Bitch, it takes two hours from the Bronx to Amboy via like three different trains. In a car, no traffic, 45 minutes. So don't be stupid. 
That's if old girl doesn't overheat on the turnpike. Touche. She does have a temper. But my Maria takes us to and from with no problem. 80% of the time. Exactly. But whatever. We will cross that bridge when we get there. True, 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 true. Look it. I will see you and Maria tonight. Ooh, yes. I'm so forward to this. I need to dance. Oh, you, me too. <laughs> You should invite him. Nah, come on. Look, Devil can be a lot for new people, especially if they can dance. Uh, I am not trying to worry about if he's having a good time and shit. I'm telling you, that brain of yours always tick, tick, ticking. Too yeah. much. And that mouth of yours always yap, yap, yapping. Mm hmm. And suck, suck, sucking. And don't you forget it. Esta boca paga los billes para que tú sepas. Especially my student loans. Yeah, well, did it pay for your trip to Puerto Rico too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And the tickets to the festival. Oh, come on. You should come. Oh, the tickets are mad cheap right now. Come on. Plus, if anything else, I got you. You already know. Girl, you know I hate flying. And besides, I ain't trying to deal with that anxiety right now. All right. First of all, relax. It's next month. You'll be fine by then. Nope. <laughs> Whack. But you love me. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. I used to. Now, come on, you have to help me pick out an outfit for Lemuel. Ooh! Lemuel? <laughs> Damn, babe, that's a big dick kind of mm -hmm. name. Oh, and he already has Valentine's Day plans for us, too. Girl, get out of it. His name is Lemuel. Lem? Like the one that I did theater? What? What? Yeah, why? Oh, girl. Mm. I feel like I'm standing on shoulders and all I can see are boulders blocking, cock blocking, mocking my past, hindering my future, and at times it's torture. My circles vary, but somehow they do marry. They join, they intertwine, intermix, and it makes me sick to my stomach when feelings of dealing with, I know him, I fucked him, did you see him kick in? I feel like I can't even walk down the street or people meet without the feet. Because lately I'm always casually encountering someone who we mutually have in common. It's habitually becoming too routinely for me and I just want to momentarily flee. I thought the universe was extensive, but Uptown, it's a collective, reflective of people cooked that six degrees of separation erected in a stirring pot filled with people who apparently we've all slept with, ones you and I at different times elected. I should have been more selective. I have to stop being so sensitive because I guess there will always be tales to tell, tales we've nailed, pasts we've failed, and futures we have yet to sail. So let the world be small, right? Just remember to rise when you fall, right? Be above it all. Fuck the bubbled world, confusing small and all. Right? Oh, man. Now you made it. Air flow tenement? What's this? This is a free cocktail. Oh. Um, where's she saying? She's in Puerto Rico for the Dia Nacional. Does she know we're here? Yes, relax. This was her idea. I know exactly okay. why he's asking. Because see, last time, she was about to go in at some girl at a bar, and I am not trying to get on her bad side. Nah, she's cool. But I do sometimes wonder how the hell she became good. <laughs> no shade. Yes, yes, yes. There's plenty of shade going on. Come on, I need a refill. Oh, need a drink. That's right. Mm, get it. Oh, God. Hey, Lemuel. Hey, Lemuel. No, seriously, no shade. But I thought the same thing when I found out. Yeah, but honestly, my girl has always had her eye set on a specific law firm, and luckily for her, she found it right away. Why don't she like telling people? Shit, if I were a lawyer, every other word in my mouth would be lawyer this, judge this, court that, firm this. Look, I have no idea. That girl is special. Just when you have her all figured out, she goes and does some off-the-cuff shit. I bet. Now, she got you into the firm, right? Yeah, which again, I wasn't expecting. Hey, be grateful. The struggle is real out there. I know, but sometimes I just get scared I want to let her down in some way. Why scared? For the same reason, what's his name asked if she knew we were all here. 
<laughs> Wait, look at You remember that pilot she was dating? I could have forget. That was the first time when I heard what pegging was. <laughs> exactly. So when he left her for that girl, she found out that they had been talking for a while and the girl lived with him. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. No way. And she also found out that the girl's entire family was going to spend Thanksgiving in the house. So she goes and she buys a big blue dildo, has it addressed to the house, and gets it delivered right before dinner. <laughs> Wait, did she open it in front of everyone? Look, no one knows, but that's the assumption. Can you believe that shit? Oh my god. I definitely ain't ever fucking with her. I have stories for days, honey. My girl I is tripped, but I love um, her. Excuse me, uh, what time are we going to the toy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's so funny? Um, nothing, but yeah. Anyway, what time are we going? Well, yeah. I'm just waiting for my boo to call, and then we out. Your, your boo? boo? Um, who's your boo? <laughs> Look at you all up in it. Well, I didn't know you was talking to someone. Well, that's because I didn't want anyone to know. Okay, and his name is? Look it. I will spill the tea, mm. but I'm gonna need both of y'all to keep your mouth shut because I don't like my business out there. Oh my god, really? Listen, no one cares, so please say it. His name is Lowell. <laughs> Lem? Like the one that I did get it? Yeah, why? Oh, girl. Mm. Isaiah, do you know what pain is? Oh, what? Uh, no. Yes, you do. You do. And, and I know because I, I do it all the time. I'm taking him all the time. You make the commitment, figure it out. Just figure it out. That, that's, that's, it's not what, look, figure it out. Bye. Bye. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Just dealing with all these people with from my dad and my brother is no help. Oh, for the surgeon next week, right? Yeah. Now things are on Puerto Rico, everyone is so slow. So I'm trying to get as much done now in an effort to minimize any issues today. Yeah, and you have that private lesson in the morning too, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, Susan and Bob <laughs> better come ready to five, six, seven. Actually, Jose and Mariana. Wait, and daily lessons? Yeah. Well, you say something that they're trying to impress the family at their wedding. Why? Him and Mariana are second generation Dominicans, so they don't speak Spanish. And so I guess they're trying to up their Latinxness. <laughs> you mean their Guatemalanness? Yes. <sighs> but you know what? Hmm? I totally understand that. Oh. Um, really? How so? <laughs> Alright. Don't laugh. But to this day, I still get this crazy awkwardness from going into a barbershop. Okay. Mm hmm Hear me out. Mm hmm So I wasn't the butchest kid growing up. And for as long as I can remember, the barbershop has always been this hyper-masculine environment that I didn't fit into. And I always felt like the minute I walked in, the barber didn't know I was gay. Um, you... Do you have a unique walk? Shut up. No, I don't. <laughs> I am just kidding. So wait, you would up your butchness when going for a haircut? Well, it was more like, I kept to myself, I didn't converse with anyone. Oh, and I definitely kept both my elbows in my lap and on the chair. Ah, yes. Okay, yeah, I, I see how that and Jose and Mariana's situation correlate. Shut up! I know what I mean! Right. A trip. Anyway, mm -hmm. did you find a place to stay in PR yet? Um... Sort of? I think I'm gonna stay with the friend. That way I'm not spending any money and I'll be close to both my dad and the hospital. Do I know this friend? No. Is it just a friend? What do you mean? I mean like, have you two ever dated or had sex? <sighs> yeah. 
And you weren't going to mention this unless I asked you. There's really nothing to mention. Oh, okay. Do you have a problem with me staying with him? Bothering. Oh, come on, it's more the fact that I had to ask you than you just showing me a little bit more respect and telling me. If you're implying and or expecting me to tell you about all, all the people I've been involved with, then yeah, get ready to be bothered a lot. Oh, really? Listen, wait, wait, listen. I'm not trying to be shady or, or, or whatever. But when I'm single, I'm 100% single. And with that comes doing whatever and whoever I want. Now that doesn't mean I'm gonna do whoever or whatever I want when I'm in a relationship. Makes sense. Good. Thank you for understanding. No, it makes sense because your name came up in my get together last month. And? You know what, I was really trying to be cool about this. I wasn't going to say anything, but I didn't fucking like you for one bit. There will always be tales to tell. Tales we've nailed, pasts we've failed, and futures we have yet to sail. So let the world be small, right? Just remember to rise when you fall, right? Be above it all. Fuck the bubbled world, confusing small and all, right? What's up, boo? Oh, you know that I know that I keep the color. It's so freaking hot right now. And it's only me. Tell me about it. Mother Nature is all types of bipolar. I know. Hello, global warming. Get into it, right? <laughs> Look, I know, but uh, you may want to go put a couple of pieces of clothes on because homeboy's coming over. <gasps> My boo? Yes. What are we doing? Look, I have no idea, but it better involve AC because I ain't trying to walk around a swamp ass. Seriously. Boy, tell me you trim that ass at least before the summer. Look, if this heat keeps up, I may have no choice. So you haven't trimmed? Yeah, but I don't prefer it. Oh. I mean, come on, it's not that hairy. I've seen you naked, boo. It's hairy. Oh, shut up. up. <laughs> Wait, who's Tita La Tremenda? That's Lem's friend, why? Uh, well, she just commented on your status change. Look. Uh, come in, babe. Hey, boo. Hey. Come over here. Come over here. Me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you the one we had last night? I wish I were cocky so I can pop lock and drop these lames, all these social media fames. The ones who lack decorum, same ones who bully on Facebook forums. I would bore them with my IG fancy vocabulary, but no, I'm not cocky. You know, the ones who hide behind a computer screen yet seek attention in the social scene. They act all mean and brolic, but deep down inside, lack knowledge. I'd tell them, go back to college because you're not solid thought. You're tacky. Go take a selfie. You're needy and it's feeding the disturbing void in your psyche. Man, I really wish I were cocky. I'd probably make enemies slash frenemies. We all know they correlate in energy, but I'm a softy, a one-man apology, a non-monopoly that has to control his need for social anthropology because society's all messed up. We're all high and mighty raising a small brain, barely saying dynasty, who stand on the shoulder pads of iPhones and iPads, but can't finish a sentence without incorrectly using a hashtag. Yeah. If I were cocky, I'd tell Molly she shouldn't have married Bobby, a man she barely fancies just so she's not alone while watching the Grammys. Superficial. He's not about family, yet you impose a proposal, so I propose a toast to what will last six months at most. See, if I had bigger balls, I actually wouldn't be me, the spiritually free man I am today. So I guess it's okay. I don't need to be cocky because I got me. Dancing through the world alone lately mm. We've been trying just to make it through everything mm. I feel so out of place
You look uncomfortable. If you gotta fart or something, just go over there and then come back. I fart one time by mistake, and now it's a thing. Relax, my love. I'm too soon. Well, I gotta fart. <laughs> You're a trip boy. That's why I love you. Yeah, I love you too. You know, I had a really great time at the Fearing Pride party last weekend. It was really nice, right? And I love how supportive they are, the partner son. I thought the same thing. You just don't know these days. Yeah, I know. And I'm really glad they got to meet you too. Yes. So please tell Jess to expect a thank you card for the entire office because they were a fantastic host. Look at you being all sweet. You know, I really appreciate your kindness and I know they will too. And I appreciate you and I appreciate Jess for always looking out for you. <laughs> that girl adores you. <laughs> And I adore her crazy ass. That's why I got us three VIP packages for the New Year's Salsa Congress in September. What? I mean, these sell out every year. How did you get these? I just live with the promoter. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's better. No, I'm happy being excited. Thank you so much. Yo. You know, anything for Salinas! Salinas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but in this case, Sasita. Sure. I, I don't want this to come out the wrong way, but sometimes I wonder if this is too good to be true. I think the same thing, but I, I just try to focus on the positive, you know? Same, but I have all these issues and shit, and I'm trying to make sense of it all in my head. About your head? Don't be nasty. I'm a good Christian boy, and I know nothing of the sort. That's the story, and we're sticking to it. That's right, Gonyo. <laughs> Listen, mind me asking if you ever consider trying therapy. For what? I'm not crazy. Just because somebody goes to therapy doesn't mean they're crazy. I went for a really long time, and it helped me a lot. See? I knew this was too good to be true. I'm serious. Look, I tried, but I don't have insurance and it's really expensive. The firm doesn't offer you insurance? They do, but it's still a lot of out-of-pocket expense. Well, maybe we can try to get you a better job. I tried that too, but all the good, good jobs, they want like 45 master's degrees. And even if you get the job, the starting salary is so low, it's not worth the effort. I feel you. Anyway, we can talk more about that some other time. I don't want you to stress me. Me? Stress? <laughs> Never. Let's go, I just need to drink. Okay. Let's play a game. I say a word and you respond with the first word that comes to your mind. We'll take turns. Sounds confusing already. Stop, okay? Pickles. <laughs> Onions. Now you go. Hemorrhoids. My next door neighbor. What? He has this little funny walk. <laughs> that doesn't mean he has hemorrhoids. Wait, is he married? Yeah. Well, he's probably into pegging. What's pegging? I got here as fast as I could. And you, why weren't you answering your phone? He left it on the car because it's dead, but... Better question, why are you dressed like a clown? Because it's National Clown Week. And we're allowed to dress up the Friday of. Look, right? I need a few minutes. I'm going to the car. Let me know if you need anything. Of. Anyway, back to this. You don't look like the type to paint to clowns. Uh, I wasn't until I dated a guy in the circus who had a really big dick. Okay? After that, I was into whatever that fine motherfucker was into, okay? I hear that. Oh. Yeah, plus also people like to keep it being light, light at work, so. I noticed. They're really cool. I like it. Yeah, I guess. Um, so how's Metro? She's stable. She was a little, a little while ago, but she's sleeping now. She really is okay, though. Yeah. Good. Uh, is mom here? She's upstairs with a lot of his family. Can we talk about how big his family is? Oh my God. <laughs> Shit. If you ever plan on getting married, I don't know, y'all better elope or something, because I don't think you can afford to invite everyone. For real? Why was not have at work today? I'm not sure. 
What the fuck you mean you don't know? You're not sure. Y'all are practically doing the hip. I know you know where he was at. National Clown Week already? Yes, Miss Fang. Every August. Now get with it, okay? Mm. You're a much needed <laughs> light right now. Thank you, baby. How are baby. you? I'm always working. You know how it is. Good for you. Thanks, Mama. Is everything upstairs? Well, actually, I think I might have exaggerated a little. <laughs> but all in all, she's good. I just feel so bad that I scared Harvey like that. Don't worry about it, Ma. I think his anxiety was at 100 today, so any little thing will have cause panic too. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay. Um, sure. Can you tell him to relax? Yes. Ram is okay, sure. and that's what's important. I'll be coming a flight attendant. No way! Well, you know Nick's sister, right? She's a flight attendant, and she encouraged me to apply. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> I know, but. October 1st, I leave for Cleveland for two months. I just get a flying, loco. God, Mom, I know, but I'm leaving it to God. I, I, I am so happy for you, but nervous at the same time. <laughs> oh, shit, me too. I mean, I get my fear of flying, flying, doing grand, flying, doing grand. Don't fly, Mom, hurt. Please leave your message for 6468752222. Hey, Hav. I'm here. Um, everything looks great. You are going to love what they did to this place. I know, I know, I'm mad early, but I just wanted to make sure everything was perfect. Um, side note, the guy in charge is really cute. And he's walking around here with no underwear on. They call over the place, girl. <laughs> Hi, this message is for Mr. Javier. I'm calling to confirm your travel itinerary for your flight to the training center in Cleveland. They have your last name listed as Mamacuibaso, which I don't think is right, so please give us a call back. Thanks. Oye, Tito, ¿por qué carajo no me estás cogiendo el teléfono? Te he llamado 20,000 veces y nada. Llámame, coño, que Ada y Luisa quieren hablar del carro. Hey, boo, I'm here at the bird store. Um, unfortunately, they don't have any more doves. I've been texting you. I'm not getting any replies back from you. Please text me. And remember, take it easy, okay? Papi, Grandma wants to talk to you before the service, so please call me back so you can talk to her. Yeah, we're here. Sam here, you little bitch. Knowing I need you the most right now, go down me. The fuck. You sure as hell went out with the bang though. And I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the week. But I just couldn't. I couldn't have my last image of you lit up in a coffin. But from what I hear, you looked amazing. And as you know, my head is all over the place right now, and my heart is in pieces. And although I'll never get over the loss of you, I'm gonna man up. It's like you talk. But I ain't making. I'm gonna keep it together. And I'm sorry I didn't get to read this thing in person. I figured our bad movie needed a happy ending, right? So here it goes. Thank, Thank you, you for giving me something to eat, a place, place to sleep, and room to, to breathe. See, I am me because of we. And I come to thee knowing that the life I now see was grown from my seed of need. But you, in this world full of necessity, gave me reason to believe in tomorrow, even if our time was borrowed. Thank you for loving me tough, for helping me, supporting me, bathing me, and raising me rough. 
your hands helped wash away the pain of the days I wasn't loved enough. Those days were darker, but I am harder, a bigger and better fighter because of the fire in your lighter. Thank you for giving me hope on days I couldn't cope and felt like I was on dope, looking at myself in a mirror through a telescope. I write and I wrote. Thank you for carrying me, for cashing out every last bit of compassion and dashing to my side to cover me on those cold nights I wanted to flee. Thank you for the release, because if not for you, I would cease to exist. I wouldn't be present to hit and miss. Thank you for looking in me, seeing through me, and still loving me. You are a big part of my life. Thank you. You're